They can't close this place down. The place is a bloody institution. What are you going to do about the letter? I don't know. I got your letter. It's progress, darling. Siding Spring is just too old, too run down. I think we're going to have to call the troops in on this one. What troops? NASA. NASA? But, but how? Who, who would he even call? Steve. Yeah? You're NASA. <laughs> I'm NASA. No wonder they want to bloody shut us down, Bill. I've just finished telling Mum we're not mucking around up here and then this happens. Okay, well maybe there's not an asteroid heading towards Earth right now, but there is an observatory about to be shut down. There shouldn't be. Maybe you could print that in tomorrow's... Begin. And I know a heart must bend before it breaks Just like the moon and I'm like the sun And my rise has just begun Eileen, what are the numbers looking like for tomorrow night? Uh, I think Shh. I'm on the phone to their people. Who's people? Two words, Eileen. Australian Idol winner. That's three words. Australian Idol winner. You got Guy Sebastian, that's amazing. No, but you're close. Uh, uh, Shannon Noll, Jessica Malboy, Polini. Oh, come on, none of them won. Casey Donovan. No. Anthony Clear. Oh. No. He does a lovely version of Little Drummer Boy. Oh, or is it silent? All right, now you're just playing with me. Oh. <laughs> it's the guy that does all the Robbie Williams covers, right? That uh, Rob Millsy Mills. It's Millsy. Okay, that's enough. Um. Oh, is it? Is it the host? You got the host. You got Andrew G. and the one that looks like a goldfish. Yeah, he's like a really charismatic goldfish. Oh, Dicko, Dicko. Yeah, and he presses the seat and he turns around and he's like, "You're in the voice." He's not even a singer. Oh, it's Damien Leith. It's Damien Bloody Leith. Oh, he's my favorite. My favorite. Yeah, yeah. We're really excited to have him. He is my favourite. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying just thinking about the fact that he's coming. Okay, looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Daryl, I can't handle it. Daryl! Daryl! I can't handle it. Daryl! That's right, folks. We'll be talking to the main man himself, Mr. Damien. Lee. I can't bloody wait, bandit. He's a <laughs> fair dinkum, true blue Aussie legend. And an Irish Casanova. And I wouldn't mind copping a feel of his shillelagh, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I don't. And in honour of his arrival, we'll be changing the name of our little town for one whole day. What? Welcome to Leafy Barabran! Pardon my French, but whose shitty idea was this? Ooh, Rosie, you know you can't say that on radio. That's one of our eight no-nos. It's, uh, it's our new station promotion, and it's gonna be great. Is it? It will! Either way, I'm looking forward to Leafy's arrival. It's gonna be a cracking gig. Oh yeah! That boy sure can knock out a tune. And I'll tell you what, between you and me, Bandit, I'm hoping to knock one out with him. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Oh God. You're locked into 97.3 Rocket FM Rockin'. Leafy Barabra! Oh, 
Cut that shit, bandit! Seriously. Ah, uh, hey guys. Sorry to barge in. Leslie said it would be okay. I'm Mike. I'm the Vice President of Development for the new Red Skies Observatory. Just thought I'd pop past and say hello. Nothing too formal. Yeah, well you can bugger off now, pretty boy. He is pretty, isn't he? Not my type. Just thought you'd pop past and say hi. Great. Hey guys, just thought I'd come and hang out, take your jobs, close your workplace down. Who'd like to hold hands first? I understand that this is still a very sensitive situation for you guys, but I really feel that we can work together to make sure that all the hard work that you guys have done here at Siding Spring can be preserved. You're here to see what you can scavenge, aren't you? I like to think of it more of a friendly exchange of resources. That's utter bullshit. Look, if there's a problem, I can come back tomorrow. Is that a problem? Seriously? Is that a problem? Did Apollo 13 have a problem? Well, if I know my NASA history like I'm paid to know, I can tell you that all the Apollo missions were complete successes, especially 13, which was actually made into a very successful Hollywood film, featuring one Bill Paxton. Bill, shut him up, will you? Steve, shut up. Look, I was just wondering if someone could show me around, perhaps. I can do it, can I do it? Fine, just don't go disassembling anything yet. Look, Despite what happens, I just want to say that I do have everybody's best interests at heart. Yeah. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I met Buzz? You might know him by his full name, Buzz Aldrin. Spaceman. Uh, no. It's a great, it is a really good story. It was, um, it was, uh, all, uh, all, all I know about it was that he was really good he was a gentleman yeah and very gentle man right. gentle yeah. man. straight through here please that can't be it siding spring is kuna barabran right my ass it is so why does nobody care i don't think anyone knows hell really yeah it's just like I was talking with Rhonda down the library yesterday. You were down the library? Yeah, well, I only go down to get those new adult novels. I don't actually read them, but I know Rhonda likes recommending them to me. Right. Actually, I did read a bit of one. Not my cup of tea at all, but, you know, pays to keep Rhonda on side. Oh, OK, well, um... Well, Rhonda doesn't know anything about any of this. Besides, I think she wants to play pin the tail on the donkey with me. Can you go out and service the sky mapper like I asked you to? God hell, onto it now. I'm just gonna go downtown and cancel my library card.
Hell, I'm glad you're there. Uh, I'm sorry, Harry. This isn't a really good time. Not a great time. It's the best time. We've got iPads and iPad minis. Ha <laughs> ha. We don't have hoverboards yet, but they're just around. Simon, stop mucking around. Yeah, Simon. You guys are the worst parents ever. Helene, about the closure, I think I might have something that could really help. Really? What's everyone in town saying? Are they angry? I'm not sure they even know yet, or care for that matter. But this could be something pretty amazing. <gasps> A petition! People love petitions! Even if I got 3,000 signatures, do you really think that'd make a difference? Can I get a word in for a minute, please? I have Kieran Perkins' signature. I got it when I was 15. Sure, it's no Yevgeny Sadovsky, but if we're talking signatures, it's a pretty good one to have. Who the hell is Yevgeny Sadovsky? Who is Yevgeny? For shame, Helene. For shame. Okay, I've had it. I don't know who or what you're both talking about. Oh, Harry, you of all people. That's enough, Simon, OK? Please, just listen. It's important. Ignore him, Harry. I'm all ears. Sorry. Anyways, I've been doing some more work on that data I sent you. And? I'm still not sure. If you need a fresh set of eyes, I could take a look at it if you want. Maybe. Elaine, think you'll have time? Oh, I'm sorry, Harry. Things have got a bit serious up here. I understand. But if you get a window... I think this is something that could really help you up there. <coughs> all right, I'll try. Are you all right, Harry? Yes, of course I'm right. Listen, I have to go. Prepping for a big night of downloading data onto my FTP server ahead. If that's a metaphor for something fruity, Harry, it really needs some work. Look at that data if you get a chance. Don't stay up all night, OK, Harry? OK. Ciao. Hey, if you don't have the time, I can take a look at that data Harry wants you to look at. Look, I'll try and get to it this afternoon. I've just... I've really got to find a way to hijack Daryl's concert. Hijack it? How? Well, I, I don't know. But, I mean, the whole town's going to be there, so it'd be a good way to get the news out about the observatory. But... Uh, but? But Leslie Browning's going to be there, and she's not going to like that idea. The woman from the council? Yeah. Well, what if she doesn't see it coming? What if you get someone else to do it? Like who? Well, you need someone who knows how to work a crowd, you know? Like, get people really excited. What is it? I need Damien Lee. Alright guys, call in and tell us what your favourite vegetable to mash is. Mine's potato, how about you, Rosie? I guess it's potato. Ooh, snap! Mine too! And I bet those boys at the Temper Trap will agree with us. The potato really is the best vegetable to mash. Hi, we're from the bloody Temper Trap and we think sweet potato can go get stuffed. Oh, hi Hilary. Have a seat. We'll be on in three. It's Helene. Have you ever tried a uh, mashed parsnip? It's better than you guys would think. Uh, thank you for having me on to talk about this. Thank the bandit. He was devastated by the news. Mm. Oh, really? That's comforting tonight. Yeah, what the hell? Why are they trying to close down our bloody fish and chip shop, eh? If I have to drive to Dunadoo to get a Chico roll, I'm going to spew. It really is a shame, love. No, no, no. The fish and chip shop's fine, I think. It's the observatory, you know, the thing that this town is built around that's being shut down? Oh, thank God. You really know it's not fair for you to scare people like that. Some of us get really upset about this kind of stuff. What were you thinking, Helen? I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure I mentioned all of this in my email. Nothing about fish and chips in that then? No. I still feel weird, like I know the place isn't getting shut down, but it's like my body still hasn't heard the news, you know? Well, you know how you're feeling right now? Yeah. Well, that's exactly how I feel about signing spring closing. Oh my God. Really is a beautiful view up there. Yeah, but is it as good as the steam dimmy? Well, is it? I think so. <sighs> I don't agree. Hi, we have Hilary McCartney in from Siding Spring Observatory here in the studio. It's... Oh, forget it. She's saying don't shut down her precious observatory. Instead, why don't we shut down Joe's Fish and Greasies in town? Well, what have you got against Joe, hey, Hilary? For the record, I don't think anything should be shut down. 
I'm just hoping that once people find out about the plans to shut us down, and to be clear, I'm talking about the observatory now, that people might like to help us revoke the decision. Oh, you hear that, Joe? You're in the clear. Oh, I'd be so pleased. He's a good man, that Joe. Oh, he's early. Mr. Damien Leith, you are on the air with Rosie and the Bandits. Welcome to Leithy Barabran. <laughs> well, that's a new one. Uh, you, you know what? I, I'm really looking forward to playing tomorrow night. Uh, you know, just one thing, though. Uh, you do know that we're in the milk grade, not under it, right? Eileen! 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 Where the bloody hell is she? Sorry, Daryl. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, Daryl. Here's the coffee you wanted, and here are the flowers you asked for, just in case she turns up. Well, you took your bloody long enough. No time for lollygagging. Big night ahead. I know, Damien Leith. I am very excited. <sighs> Flippin' heck, Eileen. This coffee's way too bloody hot. I ran from the cafe. Well, next time, take it easy. You don't have to rush. But you said that... Gosh. I know what I said, and I realise I just contradicted myself, and I'm very bloody sorry. I'll try not to do it again. Right. Has anybody seen Leithy? Right. Is he here yet? I haven't seen him yet. Well, Frank! Frank! Hey! Frank! Frank! Oh. Frank! Hi. Hi, Leslie. Frank! Jesus, Frank! Have the two of you gone insane? No, why? Frank! Stop that! We haven't seen Damien yet. You haven't seen him around, have you? No, I haven't seen him. In fact, when you find him, send him my way. I'd like to say hi. Well, he's probably going to be really busy setting up. I mean, there's a, a sound check to do. If Frank ever gets around to it! Frank! But, but I'll see what I can do. I don't have to remind you what the point of this whole thing is for again, do I, Daryl? Um, town morale? Closing down Siding Springs, right. We're closing down Siding Spring? Why? Why are we doing that again? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, Daryl. You know why. If you want to keep your job, you'll stick to the plan. Keep the people of this town busy and we'll be fine. Okay? Yeah, okay. See ya. Frank! No, he can't hear you. He can't hear you. Frank! Frank! Hello, Helene. Hello, Mr. Finch. Please, it's Mike. <coughs> yeah, I know. Didn't know you were a Damien Leith fan. Yeah, well, my pop was Irish, so you've got to support the team. You don't want to end up supporting the wrong team, though, do you? <laughs> Look, maybe we should catch up for coffee, just to have a chat about... See you around, Mike. What are you doing here? Oh, hi, Hal. You know how it is. Always on the prowl. Really, Bill? <laughs> no, not really. I wanted to see if I could get Damien to sign mm. that. Yeah. Well, if you see him, let me know. Have you seen Steve? Yeah, yeah, he's over there. coming. Well, changed my mind. Mrs. McKenzie. Better go. Oh, not you too. There are other ways to meet women, Bill. Right. Women. Gotcha. <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, look, I know you're all excited for the big show. Um, no need to be alarmed. Just thought, while we wait, 
it, it might be fun to play a quick game of... Uh, has anyone seen Damien Leith? <laughs> it won't be long now, folks. <laughs> Hey, Mum, I'm just going to go and find Damien Leith. I didn't know you were that much of a fan. I remember being just like you in my heyday. Don't let anyone tell you that hard work doesn't pay off, if you know what I mean. OK. I'm just going to go. OK. I'm going to get a drink. <clears throat> Leslie. How can I help? Uh, just checking in. Where are you? At the, uh... Damien Leith gig? <laughs> really? Yeah, just thought I'd pop down and say hello to a few of the locals. What on earth for? You should come down. I've got my hands tied at the moment. Plus, I'm not really much of a fan of Damien Leith. Ah, well, about that. Um, he hasn't been seen anywhere. I think Barnum's sweating. You wouldn't happen to know anything about where he might be, would you? Well, I better go. Judy calls. Don't work too late. I won't. Shut down! Hey. Have you spoken to him yet? No, oh, I can't find him. Really? Is there anything I can do? No, no, it's just good to talk to someone. I'm right here, Hill. Well, I'm happy to help. Yeah, you know, just a brainstorm. Yeah. Two heads are better than one. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just, I can't find him. What the bloody hell is Damien fucking Leaf? Excuse me? Oh my god, I'm sorry. No, no, you're okay. you're you're okay. Honestly, uh, I no, didn't mean to. No, 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 just... don't don't worry, don't worry, don't I've worry. I've been looking for you. I've been trying to be found. What? No, no. I'm in trouble. I need help. Okay. I'm serious. Okay, okay. Huh? Well, I'm in trouble too. All right, well, um, okay, you, you help me out. I... I I'll help you. How about that? Deal. All right. Deal. Oh, what's going on? I, I found him. Oh, thank you so much. Hon honestly. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, look, can I just say how lovely it is to see so many lovely faces here tonight, eh? <laughs> what a town we have. <laughs> anyways, anyways, to the main event. Um, let's all give a big welcome to the Coonabarra brand for Mr. Damien Lee! <laughs> You had me going for a minute there, son. Where the hell have you been? I've been tied up, honestly. It's, it's, it's been a crazy day. Well, all right, it's up to you now. Just bring it home, pal. All right, all right. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. You know what, we, before I start, yeah, I gotta tell you, a short while ago, I uh, bumped into an old friend and, uh, and she told me all about this um, historic observatory that's just a couple of kilometers away. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know the one. I, I'm, I'm telling you what, it's, uh, it, it's, it's amazing. It's the heart and soul of this community. I don't know if you know that, but it, it, it's beautiful, it's important, and they're trying to shut it down. Can you believe that? No. And I, I look, honestly, it needs your support. It really needs your support. So, I mean, who's with me to, to save Side in Spring, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> All right. Well, you know, that's what I like there. Now, look, before I start, I, I've had a weird day, honestly. So, uh, can someone, anyone, particular that, that old friend of mine, just please help me get home safely tonight, you know? Uh, honestly, it's been a weird day. So, I, I just want to get back to my hotel in one piece, all right? Come on, Damo, play us a song. We're not here for a TEDx talk. You're a music legend, not a talk legend. You're a pretty good talker, admittedly, but we want to hear a song. Let's hear a song, Damo. All right, tough, tough crowd. All right, here we, here we go. You're a legend. Woo! Don't know if you realize just how much you mean to me. Years roll by, we're growing old. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. But you knew the path that led to my heart. I knew things would never be the same. 
Ain't it funny where the life takes you when you let it lead the way? Now I can fly, let my heart soar. It's moments like these we'll remember forever. Life moves so fast, so we alone. Let's make believe what we imagine. We've been passengers far too long on this ride, and it's time we took the wheel. Let this be a moment You've always been by my side Even when you thought I didn't notice Tame the monsters in my head Told me that nothing was hopeless You climbed the walls that I built in my head And you pulled them down one by one Ain't it funny how clear life can be When all of those demons are gone Now I can fly, let my heart soar It's moments like these we'll remember forever Life moves so fast, it's only our own Let's make believe what we imagine Been passengers far too long on this ride And it's time we took the wheel let this be a moment Let this be a moment Ah, wow, here he is. Hey guys, how's it going? Hi Dame, a great gig, fantastic. Oh, Thank cheers. you, really, really great. Yeah, thanks really, for having really me. Really I, I, had a, I had a great time, a great crowd. Nice, yeah. nice, nice people, nice right. people. I mean, there was a, a few bum notes here and there, but I, I don't reckon these guys would have noticed it all. Nah. You know, Steve here's in a band. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? What, what's your band? Well, nothing too serious, you know, we just have a, have a few gigs here and there. I reckon you should have done Australian Idol. You reckon? You should have. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Give, yeah, I give, reckon Give you... us a note. Me, me, me. Well, you know. You would have shitted in. Look, maybe. I mean, maybe. I mean, if, if you want it, right? I mean, I think of us as being sort of on the same, same level of talent. Which... You know what, dude? I'm going to hit the road. I, I, I'm gonna have this beer and I'm gonna call night. Yeah. All right, that's all my right, that's my chill. cue. No, no, yeah, it's all good. Party. All right, party. no, I'll, I'll see you later, guys. See ya, yeah, man. take it easy. See ya. What a nice gentleman. Going. Real beautiful, heartfelt, beautiful soul. Sincere, touching. Wish I hugged him. And if you had tickets to tonight's Damien Leith gig, we've just been told you can get a full refund or trade it in for a three-course carvery down at the Tamworth Tavern. And if he does show up, we'll be sure to let you know. But hey, that three-course carvery sounds good to me. Oh, it bloody does, doesn't it? It's really hard to find fresh meat in this town, you know? Only three and a half thousand people. Half of those people are dudes. This afternoon at the Workers' Club, we've got the inaugural Kuna speed dating event. Are you going hell? No. And why not? I'm sure it'll be a real hunk fest. I've decided I'm going to go speed dating. Hell, come on. I, I was just kidding. Were you two off deep? No way. Eh? Speed dating, we're heading to the, heading to the speed dating. <laughs> Amazing. Hi, you must be Helly. Hey. Welcome to Sliding Spring. Thanks for having me. I just assumed that you'd... Assumed what? That you were taken. I've come up here every day since I was a kid. Mum used to hate it. And my has just begun. <laughs>